Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to four or five random horror games. There is a connective theme with today's video, so after you watch the video, please leave a comment and try to guess what the theme was. Yeah. Uh, the first one is called Rental. Rental is a short and spooky adventure game about the dangers of renting a house in an unknown place. Yeah. This game came out on March 7th and has very positive reviews, and it's also free on Steam. So be sure to check it out. Uh, boop. Yeah, I'd uh, do the intro on that screen rather than the actual, like, rental page here. Because if I press anything, it starts the game. I'm such a sucker for low polygon horror games. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, there we go. Okay, I think we're in. This is our character. This is our little cutie. Hello. What do you think, Umi? It's not too shabby. Did you want to play with me? No. <laughs> the door is open. Could the rental man already be here? Got achievement. Speak to all your family. Our good old Suzuki Carry. Cute. All right. Uh, I guess let's head into the rental. Oh boy. Who closed the door? Hey, open up. But I'm the one inside. It won't open? I should find that dental. Rental? Rental man. <laughs> what? Aw. Yeah, it's like Animal Crossing vibes. Okay, so you can just walk into doors. I should find that dental rental man? Yeah. Okay, I don't think I can interact with anything yet. I think I might have to just go find him. Hello. Rental man. You! Did you come from the outside? I've been trapped here for weeks. Months. I don't even know anymore. Um, I need to get the keys. My parents are... Forget about your parents. You'll never see them again anyway. Unless... Unless what? You have to perform a ritual to exercise this cursed place. Yes, that's it. I can't do it myself, of course. I'm just some helpless helpless rental man. But you, you're a little girl. Who else could do it better? I... You just need to find the artifacts. It's, um, let me see. Six crosses. A woman behind bars. Some angry man. No, not me. Three candles. And then... What? Wait, I think you should know. There appears to be a secret room somewhere in here. I don't know how to summon it, but some of the stuff I some of the stuff is probably there. Good luck. Did you just teleport to the back rooms or some shit? Huh. Also, let me do something really quick. Nothing here. Looks like a good place to hide. I'm gonna have to hide from something. There's something in the drawer. Found a key. Wonder if 90 DF is on. But the TV looks kind of fuzzy. Hmm. Heh, <laughs> this one is easy. Found cross. Sick. What am I looking at? Oh, this. I can't reach the cupboard. Okay, so let's take the stool. I can use this to reach high places. Cute. Use wooden stool to reach the cupboard. Huh, there's nothing there. Son of a bitch. I'd rather not. Gotta wash my hands. Yeah. You touched the toilet. There's a man, but he doesn't look angry. There's a woman, but she's not behind bars. 
There's some ugly kid, too. <laughs> okay. Ooh, cute necklace. Incredible style. Add something to your wardrobe. Oh, yeah. Add a cross to my, my outfit. I don't feel so well. Use the key. Close, close. Ah, a cross thingy. It's not the time to take a nap. Okay. Okay, so I've been in this room. Just some clothes my dad would wear. <laughs> now this guy looks angry enough. Found angry man? That's just Jesus. The windows look kind of low budget. <laughs> no. Let's not go that way. Let's go back towards the front. What's in here? Oh! Found two candles. Um, okay, let's go back in here. Some random woman with a baby. Oh, this texture looks so meaty. I've been on a, a meat train lately. The table is floating? Fair enough. No problems here. Okay. Yeah, like, I've been playing a lot of games that involve meat. I have another one lined up, too. Thanks to my buddy Kamikaze. Uh, I think I did this room. Yeah. So let's go down the hallway. Oh. Woman behind bars. Weird taste and decoration. All right. Uh, I need to find more crosses. Don't I? Is there a way to check your inventory? No? Okay. Hi. Don't like that. Boring picture. Okay, can't nap. Nothing left here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, kitchen. No problems here. Is there anything to eat? Guess not. Use one stool to reach the cupboard. Ah, there's some cross object here. This thing is getting like closer and closer to me. Four chairs, huh? My little brother should eat outside. <laughs> I'd. Okay. It looks like there's... That looks like the box from Hellraiser is in there. I have to find the stuff. So it said there was a secret room somewhere. Yeah, so I wonder where the secret room is. There's always stuff between the cushions. There we go. Found a candle. Okay, so I think I got... Hello. What are you? Oh, there's a door at the end of the hallway. Oh, is this the hidden room? Wait, wait a minute. Are my eyes bleeding? Oh, no, it's just my cute little face. What? What? 
What? Oh, I'm, I'm in first person mode. And this is like a hall of mirrors. That tripped me out. Okay, so I gotta make my way through the hall of mirrors. Do any of the reflections look different? <laughs> Thumbnail. What a little cutie. Okay, which way am I supposed to go? Oh, here we go. This is weird. This is really awkward to navigate. Is this where I started? I think I'm... Yeah, I'm not moving. Okay, maybe it took a wrong turn somewhere. Okay, so it looks like there's... A wall here. Yeah, a mirror there. Hmm. This is so weird. Okay, here we go. There's a cross right here. Only two left. Oh, I don't like how I can look around corners in some of these mirrors. I know they're going to put something in here eventually. Okay, so there's a way to go in right here. Oh, hi. This is trippy. I don't think I've ever played a sequence like this before. Okay, it's got to find a cross. There we go. Only one left. But so how's it going, everybody? How you doing? I'm doing a lot better. My ENT system has been fucked basically this entire winter. And today's like the first day where I'm not like. <laughs> so I think this was a dead end. So let's go back. Yeah, adjusting to the Scottish climate. Scottish climate <clears throat> has been kind of difficult. Because I live my entire life in the southern U.S. A lot of my adult life in Texas, where it's just hot and dry. A little humid, but mostly it's dry. So going to Scotland where it's cold and wet, like constantly, has been a challenge. All right, all right, all right, all right. How do we get out of here? To the left? Here we go. This is <laughs> so fucking weird. 
It's like turning my stomach. Oh, I see a cross. Hello. The last one. Okay, so now I guess I find the exit. There it is. Weird. What's that texture? The door's open. Okay, go through it. Uh, beyond the rental house, arrive at the ritual circle. What? Okay, so I gotta find the different question marks. And put the crosses down. Got it. Okay. Looks like I can perform the ritual here. I should place all the stuff I have in a circle. Okay. Okay, looks like one more can go like right there. Looks like I can perform the ritual here. Uh, complete the entire game in less than 10 minutes. Okay, everything is placed. What should I even say? That useless man just disappeared on me. Okay, here goes nothing. Purica, purilala, poporino, pepperito. It looks like that thing was a giant rabbit. Hello? Earth to Umi. Seems like the rental man is not here yet. Might as well unpack what we can. Oh, never mind. The door is open. Could you go check? I don't think we should go inside the house. Finished first run. Are there... Multiple endings? I'll have to do some research on that. That was really cute. I like that. Which is made for 32 bit, jammed 2022, then was re released in 2024. Yeah, let me do some research really quick. I want to see if there's any like extra endings or if anything changes in like secondary runs. <clears throat> Good achievement. Speak the family twice. So I think if I since I talked to everybody twice, it gave me a new achievement. And then I think there's one more achievement called Curious Bunny. I'm going to try to get. There we go. Got it. Interact with all the, all the items in the house and get all other achievements. So that's 100% on rental. Yeah, there's not a secondary uh, ending or anything like that. It's just, that's it. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is really cute. Uh, and yeah, every time that creepy tall bunny thing shows up, that freaked me out. Well, uh, let's go on to the next one. Welcome to Kitty Cart 64. Yeah, the next one is Kitty Cart 64. The light's green, and it's time to race. Aim for the checkered flag and don't slow down. Get the adrenaline pumping. Only one, two, three laps and you win. Easy to pick up, yet impossible to put down. Do you have what it takes to get first place? Yeah. Uh, is there a way to make this full screen? Okay, let's do it.
Love. Oh, Three, love. Two, one, go! Okay, we're just going on a cute little race. So I say okay arts? Go karts? Or go karts! Ah ha ha! Go! So if I E, it's a little horn. Love this. Race. Road. <laughs> Car. Say rug? Oh, wait. Huh. The lap thing didn't go down. Why can I go over here? Oh my god. Ew, why is it poopy? <laughs> Where am I? Because like as soon as I crossed the checkered thing, the lap thing didn't change. So I figured something was up. And then I was able to like go off track and now Oh, I'm sinking. Oh, no. Bonk, bonk, bonk. No. What? Okay, so now I guess I'm on the third track. This is weird. Who's the rabbit? Are deserts supposed to be hot? I can't feel anything at all. I think I saw them in the last level, the poopy level. This is so bizarre. The music is getting all weird. Oh god. It's like somebody like jiggled the cartridge while the game was running. And the rabbit in the water is gone. Oh, wait, no. I think they drowned. I can feel something now. All right, good for you. See ya. This is... <laughs> All right, we're on to the next track, I guess. Oh, don't like that.
I don't even know how to commentate over this. This is <laughs> this is fucking weird. Okay, random blocks are falling, so it's making me go a certain way. Ow. Uh. Damn it. I thought I could get through that way. Oh, that sound is awful. Yeah, let's try going off this way. This is ear piercing. And I turned the game down to like 50% too. Uh, did I make it to... There we go. All right, course five. Pop 30 balloons. Okay, I can do that. I love bonus levels in old school games like this. Yeah, one of the balloons popped and it was bloody. And it says map six, not found. I thought I thought it was in course five. Maybe I miscounted. I'm sorry. Oh, I popped. Yoshi's Highway? Or is it Yoshi's Freeway? I love Mario Kart 64. I probably put hundreds of hours in that as a kid. I'd always try to get out of bounds and just do stupid shit. It's over this way. I go down in the water. Fish. Love that. Hello? What are you? Bye. I love you. Don't kill me. Oh, that's another fish. I figured that was the exit. Parking lot? Uh, there's something red over here. Oh, it's an arrow. Okay. So I guess I just follow these to find the exit. This is incredible. Like it. Oh. There's a way to go down back there. I want to see what this thing is. Okay, it's just an arrow pointing me towards... Ow. 
towards going down here. This actually feels like like a cursed N64 game. Bonk. Cute. If only I could jump. Let's see. Uh, turn. There we go. Uh. I guess we just keep going down. Oh. Hey, the exit. You fucker. Oh God. Why? Yay, I did it. Okay, and this one's called Sheepy, a short adventure. Okay, so I can't actually post this video on YouTube. Uh, there are about eight copyright claims throughout the video, and anytime there's a single copyright claim, I no longer have control over how many ads appear in the video, and I'd rather you all not have to sit through five ads every fucking two minutes. So I'm going to post this for free for everybody on my Patreon. Just go to patreon.com forward slash Mr. Craven, and you can check it out for free, no ads. Uh, it's a great game. It's fantastic. It's a uh, kind of a dark platformer where you play as a sheep and the music is tied into the gameplay like it's very integral to the gameplay so that's why I can't just like take out the music because you'd be missing a huge experience uh it's really great I I truly loved playing this game uh, and I'll still put a link in the description for you to check it out yourself so to make up for not being able to put this in today's video here is a video of some ducks that I met whenever I was uh going for a walk this past weekend Yeah, love them. Uh, cool. Yeah, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> oh my god. This is already like an incredibly creepy intro. Hey everybody, <laughs> or not hey everybody. All right, and the last one is called Bunny Farm. Yeah, uh, let's see. 
Thomas Harvey, the man they found in, or man that found an old machine in the dump. The machine appeared to be made by Cyber Fun Tech, an old company that used to run 50 years ago. Thomas examined the machine and found the main processor. Thomas has soon found out the game is still intact, along with its assets, files, and code. Uh, to make it playable and to keep it archived, he decided to attempt to restore and repair missing code and files. As he, repair, as he repaired the game, uh, he have run into a familiar face, the face of Jack Walton. Okay. Uh, it is very familiar to him, but he ignored his thoughts. Uh, he faced an issue where half the game code and files are missing, so he left it at that. Okay. So basically, like, man finds old abandoned game and tries to fix it. Uh, boop. Or is it Z? All the save files are corrupted. So this must be the old, like there's Chris, Janitor, Starla, uh, B site. Yeah. Interesting. So X. All right, gang, gather around. What is it, Mr. B? Yeah, what is it, Bob? Oh, don't tell me you guys forgot about today. Oh, I know, I know! Ask me! Please, I know! Ask me! Anyone else aside from Benny? <laughs> <sighs> All right, Benny. What day is it today? Why, today is the annual fruit festival! We do a huge party on the restaurant every year! Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, heavens, me too. Well, I'm sure this party is much better than last year's, right? Well, uh, I need all of you to put your fruits in these baskets. You guys love fruits, right? Uh, no. Oh, heavens, what are we gonna do? Oh, no! Is the fruit festival cancelled, Mr. B? Oh, you dumb salamanders. Important. Hell, I couldn't help but notice oh you guys need fruits real quick. My barn's filled with all kinds of fruits. Say, why don't you guys do me a small favor, and I'll give you all the fruits you need. Yes! Barn adventure! I love barns! I want to see the pigs and the chickens and the animals and the barns and the pigs! All right, Pete. We'll help. That'll be fun. All of us working. Really? What? Oh my god. Well, what do we for me? Pete's, Pete the Hippo's Farm. Fun fact, Benny loves birds. She loves to hear birds sing too. Do you like birds? <laughs> oh God. Okay. Okay, so this is me. Okay, uh, Z. Um, how do I... Bond's Burgers? No, I want to... Fun fact. <laughs> cool. Hi, Barn. Wait, shouldn't you be in the barn with the rest of the gang? Yeah, everything perfect. I'm supposed to solve this party, but most of the stuff I need is located in the ridiculously complex puzzles. Say, could you help me out to solve the puzzles? Sure. Alright, first we need to get the party hats. They should be in the Alright, good track. Now we need... Oh my god. <laughs> no, I hate that. Okay. Now he's moving. Guess I'll follow him. All right. First, we need to get the party hats. They should be in the basement. No. Let me ride this instead. Don't make me go to the basement with you.
Hello. Okay. What? Um. X. Am I poking your eyes out? There's high chance farm.ppx file data has been corrupted or its information uh, altered slash replaced by a third party. Recommend that you unplug the machine immediately. Opening the file may lead to unknown glitches and errors. In the levels, if you want to continue, however, we warn you that the machine could suffer mayor and what? And its worst case, a complete shutdown. Uh, deleting all the valuable information in it. Do you wish to continue? Yes. What happened to... Apples. Apples. Mm-hmm. Carrots. Cute. I can make him dance. Uh huh. This is fucking bizarre. So what? What am I supposed to do here? Because none of the other buttons are working. I like how me turning around just takes the eyes, like the face away. T. Um. Boop 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, now these buttons are working. Oh. Escape took me back out. Okay. Let's look around a little bit. This is fucking weird. Hi! Hippo house. Why, hello there. Hello. Oh, pretty horse girl. I'm supposing you two are here to help me feed the pigs, right? Sure. Yes, you speak my love pigs. I want to feed them and take care of them and play with them and dance with them and love with them and play with them. <laughs> All right. I need you two to pay attention to what I say and follow the instructions I give you. Okay. So, first of all, do not open the cages unless I tell you to. I think it'll be really funny. I think it'll be really, really funny. Should we get fed yeah, to pigs? I think I'm gonna open the cage now. Yeah. Oh, those are the pigs? Oh no, the pigs ran in the house. Oh no, Benny! What have you done? All the pigs have escaped to the hippo house. Benny, you dumb bunny. I, think, I thought he was gonna uh, say I, something else. I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. It looks like they each entered a different door. We'll have to find keys for each door. What? Fuck you, Benny. Um... Locked? What is this meat I'm carrying? There you go, you can have that. Oh. I got a key! Ha ha! Okay. Okay. 
I'm in a dark room. I guess now I'm just looking for the peg. Uh... Okay. So I'm in the the red room. What the hell is wrong with you? BSI technical support audio log number three, uh, June 30th, 1974. Jeremy's birthday party finished an hour ago. I decided to stay and help the employees clean the place. This week has uh, been uh, strange, especially because of the opening. Uh, I find it weird that they opened the place even though Mr. Wharton disappeared a few weeks ago. I hope he's doing alright. Rosemary came in today and asked if we'd seen him around. Uh, I'm pretty worried about it. Felix seems very concerned and worried too. Uh, uh, anyway, the birthday party, uh, the birthday party, yes. Uh, everything went according to plan. Uh, this was the first birthday party in the restaurant, and I feel it turned out pretty well. Uh, I noticed a few irregularities in the stage and in the audio animatronics. As the engineer and the person who basically built the animatronics to begin with, it was easier to notice these, uh, it, especially in Bond. Uh, something something fell off. Uh, the limbs weren't moving properly. They looked stiff and odd, mainly in his right arm. It took a few more minutes to take him to the backstage, just to make sure everything's okay. I'm the only one left. Uh, Chris left some hours ago, and Felix didn't even show up. I'll leave and close the restaurant when I'm finished. I'm sure it's not going to stink a lot. <laughs> okay, so I'm playing as that character, and I'm supposed to see what's wrong with the animatronic. What is that head up there? Oh, that was one of the characters from the cartoon. Okay, let's grab the wrench. Okay. Um. <laughs> her, <laughs> her eyes fell out oh and then they were stuffed inside of Banny Oh my god. Level completed. Great job, Soapy. You just made Susan beautiful. What? So it's about mascots that are animatronics that are, are a haunted animatronic that's killing everybody? I figure out if I can get up to this water bucket. No, I can't. Okay. Okay, so I can't go in there. Here's the restaurant. Hi. What's up, creep? Lily's birthday. Oh, boy. Bon, what a wonderful surprise. I'm supposing you're here to help me set up Lily's birthday party, right? Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. You see, I need someone to help me set up the games for the party. Say, why don't you help me set up the games? No. What do you think? Go fuck yourself. Fantastic. Well, there's what a... are we waiting for? Let's get started. There's It'll a face. Be lots of fun. Okay. Sure. Okay, what do we do for the party? She was beautiful. OK. 
Okay. Uh, so I can't go that way past the cake. So let me go back down this way. This is weird as fuck. I like it. Hey, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up. Get ready for entertainment like you've never seen before. It's from the repair uh, developer. During the restoration process, certain parts of the game were corrupted in a way that also corrupted the main code. For that, uh, for that part is removed from the system completely. However, if you do wish to continue playing, you'll encounter some bugs. Which okay. Right. It's time for the Jesus real Christ, game. I was loud. Let's play spot the differences. <laughs> this one's a bit hard. Look at this image. Uh huh. Look at this image. It's missing an apple. You spotted a difference. And also, there's a B. You spotted a difference. And also a cloud. You spotted a difference. Also, the color of the Let's ribbon. Move on to the next image, shall we? Look at this image. Look at this image. Oh God. Okay, so you different spotted color. A difference. There's something creepy back there. You spotted a difference. The you spotted that's a different. difference. Um, like the snow is a completely different color. Um. Let's move on to the next image, shall we? There we go. Look at this image. Jesus Christ. Look at this image. Okay, the people are sad. You spotted a difference. Um, the buttons are wrong. You spotted a difference. The guy's wrong. You spotted a difference. The eyes are wrong. Let's move on to the next image, shall we? Oh no. Look at this image. <laughs> Look at this image. <laughs> nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. Congratulations! You completed my, my game! Now, I'm for the prizes! Now I'm playing as him. <laughs> God. Hi! Seven fourteen missing wheel seven fourteen missing wheel seven fourteen missing wheel seven fourteen missing wheel seven fourteen Okay. I can't go in the barn. So I guess I just need to keep looking around for the different characters and just do their games. Yeah, so there's missing. We did their game. And then over here somewhere is that creepy guy. Oh, there's a well. Hi. Yeah, did his. All right, who else am I missing? This is fucking weird. Like, I love these, like, I found this game and tried to repair it. Is this game cursed? I love those kind of games. This one, I think, is taking it to a totally different level of just bizarre. Okay, I did yours. You just want apples. Okay, I can't open that yet. Um, oh, hello. Uh, 
Oh, heavens, this place is so beautiful. Curvy. Hop on. Didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Oh, I just really wanted to check on you and see if everything is all right. Aw, oh, that's so sweet for <laughs> you. However, I already finished my task, but you can stick around if you want. How about we play a game? That sounds fun. What would you like to play? What about hide and seek? Oh, I love that game. I'll hide. Great. This is gonna be fun. Great. <laughs> I don't... Seek. Why is she a burger? Uh... There's a little arrow. Congratulations. You found me. That was nice. I had so much fun playing with you. How about you had now? Okay, where am I going to hide? Ugh. Hide. Okay. Um, I'll hide up here. In the spooky woods. Here she comes. Am I still beautiful to you, Sophie? Found you. I know where he is, Rosie. Follow me. I I guess now they're hiding and I have to go find them. Are they going to be in the barn? Now, whenever I can play. Oh. Hello. Freddy Fosbear? Come on and come all. Welcome to my magic fountain of memories. Step right up and enter your most repressed experiences and get ready to be amazed by my magic. Let's okay. take a small trip down memory lane, shall we? Uh -huh. Tell me, what is it you would like to remember?
Where are the bodies? What did I do with them? Please, the family needs to know. <laughs> Is that the ending? Okay, we beat it. Or did we? We beat it. Holy shit. That was one of the weirdest, most surreal games I've ever played on the channel. That was fucking weird. Like, excuse me, it's got all burpy and <laughs> like, ugh. yeah, that that was truly bizarre and really fucking horrifying, just disturbing. Really good though, I liked it. Like, I I've played a lot of like cursed style games like that, but that one I think takes it to like a whole different level. That was really good. Well, all right, let's go ahead and call it there. Jesus Christ. All right, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, it really helps. If you have any suggestions for games I should cover in the future, please let me know in the comments. And check out my Patreon. Me and my partner are gonna be playing through the Dark Pictures Anthology series here pretty soon. Um, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> all right, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Bye.